comfort. Yeah, it's a bit pity that it's pitiful that I would take my make fun of her, but let's comfort her. I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there'll be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. Yes, we're getting into her heart. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign. Knock on me. down that brick wall and into her heart. I can just feel the fan fiction now. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck yourself. Yes. That was mean, but pretty funny. Yeah. Just one of those days, you know. I know Yuri exactly fan fiction. <laughs> I'll see you later. I'm so positive uh -huh. that this is what's gonna happen. Like, yeah. Victoria probably played me. I should have played her. Better get to my room before I find Warren. No, me. No, no, no. She was genuine. I'm sure she was genuine. Let's leave her at that. Because playing her will only will only fuck things up. What's this? Room two seventeen. No way in hell am I ever going in here. Why not? Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long. Oh, whoa. Juliet, extreme reporter. Extreme? See, did she put an X in it? This girl must have been popular. She's everywhere. Everywhere that I can go. What's this? Oh, bathrooms. <laughs> At least that's an alarm from this century. It is. Uh, that's the men's. Wait, what? Showers open, but it's no whatever. It's getting cleaned up. Max's room. Anything else here? No. Okay, let's go into Max's room. Got a teddy bear. Oh, any guitar. Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. It's a lovely cocoon. Now let's have a look around. We got bed. Please pick up the guitar. Guitar! Play, play the guitar. Come on, Ag. Come on, Max. I want to hear those tunes from you. Shit! Oh, God, a message from Mother. Max, your principal sent me an email saying that you told some tale tales about the Blackwell on a student. Is that true? It was a serious false charge, and he is worried that you So we can talk about, about this, Mum. Fuck off, principal dickhead. Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? It's not exactly pretty in pink, but no shits are given. I like- I love that Mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites for my birthday. And slipped in a $200 gift certificate. She sure knows how to make a sad birthday happy. Yay! So what's in my drawer? I believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. Oh, what's this? Happy birthday! Can hardly read that. Hello, oh, birthday. It's a special day. We miss you. We love you, your mother and father. Only two kisses. She put her fucking free there. What's wrong with you? Mirror. Let's take photo of mirror. And the Polaroid immediately disappears. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. Goofball! Okay, uh, uh, comics, alternate life. Cannibal, Holocaust, and... Right. Okay. <gasps> Teddy bear. Ahoy, Captain. At least I know you've got my back. 
When I swallowed your eye and my parents rushed me to the ER, I knew we were bonded forever. Well, until you shit it out. So cheesy, but it makes me smile thinking of the day Mom and I sewed that together. <sighs> Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? Chloe. I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. Another Yuri fan fiction! <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's all I keep thinking about. Like, this is like, yeah, fan f this is fan fiction material there already. Cartier Bresson, do I know? Hamilton, the greatest. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. He's got an awesome beard. That was a good hockey game and a great fight. Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. Alrighty then. We got a photo album! Philip Lorca de Corsia, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. Until the, until the solar system blows up. DVDs. Let's have a look at DVDs. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Hey, go borrow your drive so I could watch some flex while. Wait, you fucking. Let's track me down my room. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. What's a sticky note? Looks like Dana left me a little post it note. Same fucking Great. thing! Now I have to go get the flash drive from I'll Dana's organize room. my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HD TV. <gasps> we need to water the fucking plant! Water yeah, it! Thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. How the fuck would that have consequences? What did I do? If I'm not looking through a viewfinder, I'm looking through a window. Always looking. Do I need... That can't be all the water gone. Is that... All right, let's have a look. Oh, you know, let's use. Daniel has so much talent. I hope nobody hates on it just because it's me. I am so addicted to this site. Look at these vintage beauties. Camera porn. Let's see. A new muse, okay. Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. He did it, he's the murderer. Max, thanks for your email and copy of Jefferson's class notes. Now, I shall never stop sending you messages of gratitude. I also f have a, a rather elaborate connection of TV, of TV, cult, classic, and fucked up films on Planet I like you ever want to check my list. Thanks for helping me out. I'm, I'm a scientist more than an artist. Now, you can quickly explain to me how the camera works. Okay. Whatever. Right, so let's go get my fucking flash drive back. God damn it. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rotten there. Oh, come on. What the fuck? Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Get out, Juliet. This is so stupid. Juliet, what the what? fuck are you hey, doing? Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're you cool. Are ridiculous. What did she do? What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. Oh. How did you, you find out? Know, uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? I don't know what the fuck your last name is. Um... Uh, Manson, Panson, Watson. Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Of course I do. 
Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So, how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. But the beer drinking guy? I swear I didn't do anything, but I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. Oh, you know, Victoria did it. Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going in here. Tra trailer is a slave. Is this a Vortex Club or a Victoria Club initiation? Ugh. Truly pathetic. No boys allowed. As if. Juliet, extreme reporter. Ah. Dane is still a cheerleader at heart. I'm not letting her out until she tells the truth. Okay, Victoria did it. So we need to find her room. There it is, Victoria's room. But oh shit. I mean, I just tried to make peace with her then and all of a sudden I'm- Ouch. Well, at least she puts her photographs out there. Unlike me. Dear Miss Grace, thank you for listening to- uh, Unfortunately, your work is not compatible with our mission statement. We appreciate your effort and wish you success in future endeavors. Based on a nice way of saying, yeah, you're shit. Whoa, I had no idea Victoria's parents owned the Chase space. Color me impressed. Color me impressed. Tablet, use what's on here. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. Create, create your future. Jump into the twenty twenty. Three thousand six hundred quid. Yes, I get it. Enter the Vortex Club. No. Okay, if I did wear expensive jewelry, I would wear this for sure. Use this. Have a look. Oh, yeah. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo, and for this nice shot. Friends, subscribers, blah blah blah. One thousand one hundred and twenty-six. I've got more. Boom! <laughs> this is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Okay, so, uh, so sad to inform you that I punk Juliet and Dana just now. Wait, right. bitch down. Two tr tr trial. Okay. The trailer. Uh, all I need to do. That trailer was a slave. So, okay, I need to see what that's all about. Uh, I mentioned that all I had to do was mention a. Sext? that international blah, blah blah okay let's just grab what we need what is it oh there it is this better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent close Dior Givenchy you could pay for my tuition with that wardrobe. You can. Alright, let's see if we could prove her innocence. Juliet! Juliet, read this. Of course! I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. <laughs> You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. 
You set me free. Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Let's have a speak. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. <laughs> 